And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Timo. Kind of throwing a, a curveball here. We were going to be playing some Light and Ice, but got tons of donation decks today, which is awesome. Lots of viewers in today in chat. And uh, so I'm going to be uh, playing one of those decks that was a donation deck that was said, play your favorite Timo deck. And I really like this Katarina Timo. This is a ton of fun. We only played it one time. A week ago had some good YouTube views on this one and my audio was messed up with that video so hopefully it's better here but yeah we're just playing like a, a Teemo control deck it's a lot like the the Teemo Swain control um, but we're using Katarina instead of Swain where Katarina can rally and get us extra attacks with Teemo and so if we can have a Teemo in play uh, especially a leveled up Teemo that, that's doubling up the puff caps whenever it's Nexus striking and then Katarina is giving it more attacks and letting a Nexus strike even more, we can do some crazy stuff. Now that's not gonna likely going to happen, but you never know, maybe it will. Um, Puffcat Peddler, definitely a good card these days. Like the, the metagame's pretty slow, and so like having like these Peddlers and Chump Wumps with the Mushroom Clouds, like giving the opponent tons of Puff Caps, and then trying to get a little bit of damage in, whether it's with Teemo or Mystic Shot or things like that. Katarina's Blade's Edge is pretty nice. Then we got a lot of a lot of card advantage because we have the slower metagame. So we got these static shocks to help draw cards, augmented experimenter, get that card draw and removal, and then also progress day, draw some more cards. Got this one little eminent benefactor in here. Um, this is just a an underrated card. It's a cool little card. Just you know, it'll block trade or something. Last breath will create an epic from our regions, and the epics are pretty good. I mean, there's. Uh, 4, 8, 12, 16 of them. A couple of them aren't good, like Pursuit of Perfection, not so good. Um, but then a couple of them are like amazing. Like if, if we have Subpersible turned on, that one is great. Or maybe we'll get a Zevi or an Augmented Experimenter, True Shot Barrage, Progress Day, Leviathan, Karina, Captain Farron. You know, like we'll take any of these cards for free for just, just having our thing die. Like these are some really impactful cards that we have the possibility of hitting. So that's our Eminent Benefactor. All right, let's play some Katarina Timo. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. Yeah, it's a fun of. <laughs> yep, exactly. <clears throat> well, Potato, I may not get... Yeah, you had two donation decks today. I mean, we'll play one soon, and then the other one, you know, will be, you know, maybe like a week before I get to your other one. So we'll see. All right, classic fun of. All right, progress day gone. I love peddler into chump wump and stuff like that, but we do need to make sure that we don't just get ran over. Um Thermogenic Beam's our early card. Peddler is arguably the best card in the deck, and so it's kind of weird to mulligan a Peddler. But I also didn't want to just start with nothing turn one, nothing turn two, and then Peddler turn three because Peddler turn three. No, I just don't even play that. So if, I, if I do that, then Peddler turn three is definitely just gonna die to some removal spell. Hit him. More mushrooms. 
more mushrooms. All right, I'll just do one damage to the sentry, keep my thermogenic beam. If they go straight to combat, I will have the death lotus. They can take down a couple of these. Deck su super popular today, Twisted Fate Swain. I mean, I really like it. I, I played Twisted Fate Swain not that not that long ago. And liked it a whole lot. Okay, all right. So it looks like I'm using Thermogenic Beam now. We can't play Death Lotus anymore. Breaks my heart, blocking with Teemo. But this this deck can do a surprising amount of damage. I got double progress day in hand. We have a hand that is built for the long haul with double progress day. We need to stay alive. Can't just sit back and take all the damage. The few for the men. It's a really, I don't know, it's a weird just go straight to pass kind of thing. You know, it's... Huh. They just didn't have anything to play, I guess. Gotcha. Be able to kill Swain. So now do I progress a day or play 20 puff caps and a grenadier? I think we progress day. Oh, this is 10. I was thinking that was going to be 9. Oh, that's 10, so that's kind of a bad progress day. Because now I'm just going to burn this top card. Ah, oh, that was a good one, too. Definitely a good one. Ouch. I... Did not count that correctly. Arithmetics with the three months. Thank you so much. Fourth sub of the day. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we're going to have... Give them a bunch of puff caps. Let's see. The thing about waiting on these puff caps is I wanted to have... You know, I want to have the, the three drop before... Uh, but obviously they're going to have this Wayne-Leviathan combo now. Uh, let's see. Is lit. Is 
Alright, what kind of epic are we gonna get? J Madarda. Not the best. Not the best one. I'll have nine mana next turn. Thermogenic beam. Dark in the skies. Leviathan plus Wayne is just so it's just so great. It's basically impossible to impossible to kill those things. They just have too much health. Too much health. have any great plan. I, I really wish I wouldn't have, like that progress day, I wish I wouldn't have played it right then. Wish I would have just gave them a bunch of mushrooms and played the 3-2. Um, that was that was a mistake. Then I burned that gotcha. That gotcha was necessary, right? Like I needed, I needed that gotcha to help kill the Leviathan. That was a big mistake. Probably. Oh, I guess I guess the Swain just kills me anyway. I feel like I had better tools than than what I did. I don't think I played that very well. I don't think I played that very well. I tried to, to just stay alive and not take the damage early, but I guess against those two cards, maybe I just can, can just never cast Thermogenic Beam unless it's against Leviathan or Swain, right? Like, so I think I just need to just hold off and never cast, and just if the three the three power things kill me, they kill me. That, and then obviously the progress day, I, I miscounted. I, I thought I was going to be nine, but it was ten, and so then we were really punished with that gotcha being burned. Okay, gonna play for the longer game. With Gotcha to take down the champions. Progress day to be card draw. And still with keeping that, we're like curving out just fine. 
I wish I could replay that, that last game that we just played. Static Shock only does damage to enemies, unfortunately. I wish, like, if they if they use, like, for example, they Mystic Shot Teemo, I would be able to, I wish I could Static Shock the Teemo and then one damage to them. Obviously, I don't have the mana for, for it anyway, so, like, it doesn't matter, but, um... Yeah, that's something I wish I could do to, to keep them from getting the level up with Ezreal. But it, it's only enemies. Omen Hawk's a great one. Got that puff cap draw. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. That's good. It's good against the two four Ezreal. Again, not not the best epic, but that's all right. Seize the opportunity. No, do not seize the opportunity. Get yours. Put on me mask, secure me tail. It's tough to die. Morning shot. He started without me. Omen Hawk. My friends, though. Have a good deck for them to take cards with. Like we're a good, we're a good deck to steal stuff from. Coming in hot. Croak if you work. Brown if you don't. Pay dead. To attack now. Down from the trees. Double bear for the next kill. Um Uh what does Trump Womp say whenever he summoned? That was a question. Um I can go look it up. <laughs> You'd think I would know by by now. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. There you go. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day.
Wait, how is that thing a 5-4? I missed how that thing became a 5-4. Oh, they had... Oh, they took my transfusion. Put on me mask. Secure me tail. Start the day. caps that could be big never know i mean i guess it's that's only 24 so probably not probably not big Blockers. Oh man, that is. That's risky. They're drawing four cards now. Two puff caps and four cards? Rip off. Looks like trouble. I want to keep saving this culling strike for Ezreal. Okay, good. Whenever they just drew four cards, they would have drawn more puff caps. Wow, all three of those gone. Come on, get those puff caps. None? Insane. Draw more than none. So 
they just had five cards. Come on, draw four. They just had six cards, so they averaged more than one puff cap per card overall for the six, and they drew three puff caps. Sad. Puff caps let us down that time. Let us down that time. Okay, so I'll have... Ooh, that's... There we go. That's what I need is Teemo. I'll have Mystic Shot to take out uh, their three-mana card. I just need them to not have Vile Feast. And have this Teemo do some work. Nope. I have the only card in their deck that I didn't want them to have. It's probably not even better to play Katarina instead of play Legion Grenadier, honestly. This might hurt. Oh, cool, Choo Choo. Opponent, our opponent is also a streamer. Nice. Only fools hesitate. Ha! They'll never know what killed. Okay, so we'll just have this leveled up Katarina to be able to use whenever we want. I've always been a fun guy. They got three puff caps. Still have those three. Didn't obliterate them. Gotta go with the flow. <laughs> Through the coral. So if they go Withering Will, we'll have to, you know, we're going to have to just gotcha to keep this, you know, kill their spray fin and keep our peddler alive. Which is a good use of gotcha. Looks 
The leveled up Katarina and the uh, augmented experimenter are a little awkward together. It's not something that happens very often. I think this is the first time that I've had them together. So that is, is a little awkward together. <laughs> hey, no, no problem, Levin Slayer. Nice, Dr. Jack, you just played double, double smooth soloist. Very nice. Another Vile Feast and another Make It Rain. So, you know, I just have to empty the hand. Like, that's not a good card to get rid of, but I just kind of have to get rid of the hand. I, why am I attacking? Because I guess I have to lead with Experimenter next turn. Because I can't attack first with Katarina and then put it back into my hand. Out. <laughs> Two, three, four. Gotta keep emptying this hand. That's probably like, what are they doing? The worst that could happen would be they play <clears throat> lifesteal thing, or uh, sorry, uh, elusive thing to block my Teemo. Alright, so they annihilated a bunch of cards, obliterated a bunch of cards, they got eight puff caps left. Double this up, make it 16. No. Never mind. So they're going super controlly with their version. Maker Reigns. The Vile. Yeah. Alright, well. Let's go. This is the Katarina they know about. So if they're playing on, like, Devour to get rid of it. The third Grass the Undying? Yeah, killing me. We still we already have the attack token. We don't need to play the other Katarina for another attack token. We're gonna play this and hit him for seven and then give him uh, ten puff caps to go along on these ten cards. So honestly, this is probably gonna be a win, like you know, because then we get to go straight to attacks again. So 
pretty sure we're good. That turn, that turn they just had for us was really good. I mean, it was a lot better than them playing Nautilus and all that kind of stuff. So, like, I was... It was, like, a feel bad to have our stuff die, but that's so less powerful. Having your stuff die is much, you know, like, is much, much worse than them just playing Nautilus and Devour Depth, Devour Depth, and, and things like that. Like, that's much better. Which is why I don't like that version of Deep. I don't like Super Control Deep. Um, we played a Deep deck yesterday that had none of those spells, and I liked that version a lot more. Timo, yes. All right, no vile feast. No vile feast. Oh, awesome, Choo Choo. Oh, okay, yeah, because, okay, so yeah, they were streaming. That's right. So the, okay, so he was constantly saying that he didn't expect this, didn't expect that. <laughs> his, hand, his hand was just, his three cards in hand were the three Nautiluses. Okay. That's right, I forgot we were playing against the streamer. You hold this. Alright, please, no vile feast. Don't kill my Teemo. My Teemo's got to do a lot of work. Got a lot of work to do, this Teemo. Good. No vile feast. bad play if they got Withering Whale. I'm just hoping they don't have those kind of cards. Yeah, draw draw cards. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. Okay, so we could use Mystic Shot or Gotcha to get rid of it. The Mystic Shot gets to do damage upstairs, so maybe I should be going that route. Or, so maybe I should be going the Gotcha route. But playing Mystic Shot allows us to play the Grenadier and attack with the Grenadier also this next turn. Hmm. Alright, this is just a lot better to have a leveled up Teemo. So now Teemo doesn't die to Withering Whale. The Blessed Isles live through me. <laughs> yeah, this is just so much better having leveled up Teemo. So now instead of them having 15 puff caps, they're about to have 38. <laughs> That's a pretty big difference. Yep, gotcha deals with Abyssal Eye. Good call, good call. You defile the grove. I cannot be broken. Perfect. So the two cards they obliterated did not have puff caps, so they still got 38. Okay. So, how are we... So, they're obviously going to attack. Which one of these do I want to use to deal with that? Why would the 1-1 one, one attack? I'll level up Maokai or something? I 
I just can't play... To double spell, I have to play Mystic Shot to, to kill Maokai also. The best non-Bilgewater or PNZ deck. So no Bilgewater, no PNZ. Yeah, get the Ephemeral. <laughs> get the Ephemeral again. Okay, well, two Ruination's gone. What about maybe Zed Shen? I mean, well, I, I guess, I mean, I, well, I guess the best is, the best is Frostbite Midrange out of, like, if it's just one, you know, like, are you including Frostbite Midrange? Like, are you doing three? Frostbite Midrange would be the best. Okay. Yeah, honest, honestly, it's Frostbite Midrange. If you want my list of that... If you don't, if you don't want the tier one deck, you know, like if you do, if you don't want to play that, you know, because that's just going to be super popular. Um, I would say Zed Shen, but Zed Shen's one weakness is mid range frostbite, and I would be expecting a lot of mid range frostbite. If there's no ban, and you just pick two decks. So you want... Okay, so yeah, you need something that'd be pretty good in that in that matchup. I'm just going to discard these two and draw three more. Don't really need either of those. Okay. Um. I won 15 in a row with the Zed Chen deck. Only one of them was against Ash Sejuani. That's going to be a tough matchup. What? They drew zero puff caps? Wait, did they just draw zero puff caps? Like, seriously? Like none. Dude, we are getting the worst puff cap luck. What's the worst that could happen? Well, these cards don't help. Hmm, like we're about to die. Ugh, one more damage. I mean, I guess. I guess I shouldn't have played that first Augmented Experimenter. Oh, I guess I, I guess I shouldn't have played that Augmented Experimenter. Forgot about Terror of the Tides and them drawing zero puff caps. I was thinking that they would draw a couple and all we need is like a little burn spell, but yeah, playing that Augmented Experimenter cost me. Man, we were getting the worst luck. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it was created by their Jaw Hunters, the Terror of the Tides. Alright, how is Zed Shen versus Swain? Good question. This is also another option for you, by the way. Um, I would probably play Sejuani over over Hecarim, but just the, the They Who Endure deck. Um, I would guess the They Who Endure would be really good against the Swain decks, I would think. Anyway, um, I think Zed Shen's good against them. 
what with all the like there's a ton of twisted fate running around now and so honestly you probably want a ranger's resolver too now <laughs> nothing escapes my watch I'll scout ahead. That would probably go in for. I don't know where you'd fit that in. Maybe Spirit. Maybe. No, you probably want Spirit's Refuge. Uh, I don't know exactly where you'd fit that in, but Ranger's Resolve is awesome. The thing that's great about the Zed Shen deck is people don't really know how to play against Shen, especially leveled up Shen, and people don't know how to play against Stand United. Like, you just, you just kill people all the time with Stand United. Because people don't know how to play against that card. Or just leveled up Shen with the buffs. And kind of the same with Green Glade Caretaker. That kind of stuff. People don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, Endure is really good, especially with the I like the version with maybe one Sejuani, not one Hecarum. But yeah, in the last few times I've played against Endurance it's looked great. Definitely play Omen Hawk. You know, play the Omen Hawk version, not non Omen Hawk. Try me. So yeah, if you if you have a lot of Endure experience, go. Yeah, feel free to go this route. And Endure's got to be pretty good against like these removal heavy decks with um, with how wide they can go and and just the card advantage they have with Avaros and Sentry and everything. All right, that'll give him 21 puff caps. Hopefully, double it up to 42. There we go. House Spider was a really good draw against all these three twos. Yeah, drawing three Teemo is not normally the best. Oh gosh, four six Neverglade Collector. Six. All right, we're gonna have to get really lucky with these buff caps. <laughs> have to get real lucky with these buff caps. Maybe Hecarim is better than Sejuani. I don't know. Hecarim looks great with Omenhawk. That's for sure. I don't know. Maybe this version's pretty good. I, Wraith Caller is amazing. I don't see too much Wraith Caller in in these decks, but Wraith Caller is amazing. My opponent's deck looked great this game, for sure. All right, anyway, um, we're going to have to get really lucky. Yeah, so I need to cast this first, get him three more puff caps. 47. Double that up. Maybe they draw 13 out of the 94. We will be maybe drawing a Mystic Shot also. We draw 11. Just four. We tried. Well 
Well, that was a one and four that probably should have been a two and th uh, three and two. Two of those games, I made some some mistakes that directly cost me games, like the, the one against the deep before, and there's another one too. Uh, and then we also got some, yeah, we got some really bad puff cap luck with a couple of those games too. That that game was not going to be a win, right? Like we're we just got like they had their hand was awesome, and that's what I've been saying about the they who endured deck. Probably the last like four times I've played against it, they've just had awesome hands, and it's looked really good the last like four times I've played against it. Every game, Omen Hawk is awesome, and yeah, that's that's hard to stop. Um, that version looked pretty good with Hecarim. I don't know. They are, they already go so wide. Yeah, maybe Hecarim's the way to go. That card's great. All right, anyway, that's Katarina Timo. Fun deck to play. Unfortunately, didn't do as well this time. Um, like I said, I probably I should have been three and two, uh, but I messed up two games. That's what happens. All right, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.